I'm going to talk a little bit more about, about the bidding strategies firms might have in an auction. But the first thing I need to do is talk about different types of auctions, because different types of auctions give firms different strategies for bidding. An auction can be either a discrete event or a continuous market where trading occurs as bids and asks arrive. So you could think of a double-sided auction where buyers are, are making offers to buy and sellers are making offers to sell and these are being matched whenever there's a beneficial trade to be made and so uh, it could, there could be a continuous process of buyers and sellers meeting each other. Or you could have a sequence of one-time auctions where buyers and sellers submit their bids. In the case of an electricity procurement auction, the buyer is actually the discom just saying how many units they want to buy. The sellers are, are GENCOs who are making their, their price, bid, price and quantity bids into this auction saying, well, how much am I willing to supply for um, at least this much in the way of the price of electricity? I'm willing to supply 100 megawatts as long as I can get at least, uh, at least $60. So, um, uh, a discrete auction like that is often called a sealed bid auction. Of course, because it used to be that firms would uh, put their bids on a piece of paper, put it in an envelope, seal them up, and send them in to the auctioneer. Nowadays, of course, it's all done online by just putting your bids in a form on an online uh, auction vehicle. And so it's all very cheap, very easy, very instantaneous. And in fact, electricity procurement auctions uh, in some countries take place every five minutes or in five minute in five minute time increments and because they're so cheap to participate in uh, these auctions can take place with high frequency um, another important characteristic of auctions is how the price is set um, an auction might um, have um, bidders receive precise. In the in the case of a procurement auction, the bidders can either receive the price they bid, or all bidders receiving the same price. And so, auctions come in these two different flavors, a discriminatory price auction where what you bid is what you get, or a uniform price auction where everybody makes their bids and everybody gets exactly the same rate once the auction is closed. So you have these two types of auction, the pay as bid and the uniform price auction. Electric electricity procurement auctions um, often tend to be uniform price auctions and, and there's a good reason for that. If you think about your incentives to bid in these two different types of auctions, in one auction you, you are going to receive the bid you make. So if you have very low cost of generation and you bid those low costs, then what you're going to get is a very, very close to your cost of generation. And so your tendency would want to be to think about, well, what is the, what is the market price going to be? What is the last bid accepted going to be? I'd rather bid close to that so that I get more than my cost. And I can do that if I bid higher than my cost and I'm, uh, and I'm paid what I bid. So firms have a tendency to bid away from their actual cost of generation. They want to be able to guess what the closing price is going to be and the bid as close to that as possible. Well, in a uniform price auction, the price for everyone, the price that everyone receives, is set by the first bid that's not filled. So the first rejected bid of power, after the procurement, the procuring agency gets as much power as they need, they stop accepting bids, and the price everyone receives for electricity 
is the first bid that's not accepted. So a firm could bid several different blocks of power at several different prices and would receive the same price for all those blocks of power and that price would be set by the first bid that the agency didn't, that the procuring auctioneer doesn't accept. And the interesting thing about a uniform price auction is that the bidders now can bid their actual values and they won't be hurt by bidding their actual values for the generation, their actual cost of generating the electricity because they know they're going to get paid the same uniform price as long as their bid is in the range below the market, uh, the market price for that day. So uh, a uniform price auction uh, is often preferred in these kind of settings because firms have more incentive to bid closer to their marginal cost. Firms have incentive to bid closer to their actual values rather than to guess the outcome and bid as close as they can to the outcome. Firms will now be bidding honestly their true values and then getting paid according to the market price. Electricity procurement auctions um, tend to be sealed bid uniform price auctions and as I've mentioned the advantage of a uniform price auction is that the bidders have a pretty strong incentive to bid their actual values rather than try to guess at the closing price of the auction and then bid close to that closing price. Um, bidders know their own values better than anyone else anyway and so are in the best position to bid their own values but it's unclear how great a position bidders are in to guess the outcome of the market price. And so there's an advantage that giving bidders incentive to bid their actual um, cost of production in the auction. And that's, that's why uniform price auctions are commonly used in this circumstance.